Detroit time is all the time. See a historic Detroit legend in the legendary Lee Kennedy. Settle back, enjoy the Kennedy cast, and watch these pictures fly through the air. Lee Kennedy is a legend. If Lee was not a legend, then why would I be filming him? Great legends, in fiction I think of the Volsunga saga, are meant to be known and shared. The kids these days just do not know, but I must include myself among the ignorant because many of Lee's cultural references slip past my recognition. Lee's stories of stars list so long, we can scarcely keep track of them all. Some might say the number is as unknowable as a human soul. <laughs> How did it come to pass that you met so many fellow legends in your lifetime, while most of your peers never dreamt of such voluminous, illustrious connections? Just been in the right place at the right time. <laughs> when I think about it, I've met a lot of people, became legendary themselves. We got to be friends at the time, we were friends. What made you so special that you got to rub shoulders with the greats throughout your life? Because the business that we're in, see, everybody like music. Music unite people, all colors, all kinds of people. You happen to be out front in that, and then I was always around the entertainers. They thought I was a musician, an entertainer, or something like that. We had our own little thing. Like the songs that everybody want to be a winner. Everybody want to know a winner. Everybody want to be with winners, right? Yeah. That's why. I just happened to be a Right you were a winner. <laughs> the right time. You had a winning attitude, I'll tell you that, because remember, yeah. Barry Gordy went past Florence went Keywell. past Florence Keywell and went to you. Right. She was the boss, but he thought you were the boss. You had that winning vibe, that X factor that He probably knew she was the boss. Oh. Because she's white. Oh. But he probably thought she didn't know about that kind of music. That's what I get from. It. Because that was soul music. In that age of time, how many white people had soul that way? Especially Jewish people. Well, they had a different kind of rhythm, that's all. Few yeah. and far between. Right, right. And that's probably why. But he always was cursed to her. He would always send the invitation. They knew her. She was friend. They called her. She, all the people, they became stars. They would call her and talk to her. She knew everybody. We was talking about Invictus Records. There's pictures of Frida Payne. They were right behind me. And there's pictures where she wrote a long thing a letter on her picture she signed for me. Oh, the I, one that she kissed? That was a Randy different Crawford. girl. Randy Crawford did the kiss. Okay. <laughs> this is for your pain. <laughs> you have many. Yeah. <laughs> many different women. Yeah. She went in Victor Records, but I was part of Motown at the time. Holland, Dozen, Holland. Oh, yeah, those great writers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many hits. Still yeah. alive. Yeah. Right, that's right. Lee Kennedy and I express our appreciation to all the great men and women that filled out Mr. Kennedy's life. And if we bring a laugh or a smile to you folks at home, we are happy. This concludes our program scheduled for the day. Until next time, give them heaven and knock them alive. <laughs> <laughs>